Hi, welcome to the gallery. Today we are going to do a fabulous landscape painting. It is a sunset taken by a Kamloops photographer, Rick Howie, from the Kamloops Naturalist Club. Uh, we are going to start with doing one quarter of the painting with the landscape and ochres, and then we're going to move up to fabulous oranges and violets coming in from behind. And we are waiting for the students. Of course, we can't do this painting outside, so we're doing it right here in the gallery. They should be along any moment. I started painting um, because all my life I've been somewhat wanting to get into art, art, art and um, explore my artistic side, which I knew was there, I just didn't know how to do it. And my daughter signed up for some painting classes and brought home some amazing artwork. And I thought, you know what, maybe I can do this too. And so finally, after eight months of watching my daughter do art classes, I decided to sign up and attend this a series of classes and it's been amazing. Well, it, um, it was kind of funny because I came into Kamloops for something totally different and I stopped in the store to get some varnish because that's, they told me at London Drugs where to come. And uh, then I noticed all your art stuff and I said something about, oh, you must give classes. And you said, yes, do you want to take one? And I said, well, maybe. I said, I've never painted before. And you said, well, I have a beginner's class and that's how it came about. So. I went home, thought about it, and I was kind of excited, so I thought, I will do this. Well, I saw you starting your shop, and I watched every day as all your windows progressed and all the paintings went in there, and I thought, oh, I would not never be able to do that. And then after you got business opened, you had a kid's class, and they went out onto the sidewalk, and they were painting on the sidewalk, and I pass here every day, a couple of times a day, actually. I thought, oh, those little kids can do it, I can do it. So, I thought, ah, oh, I'm going to give it a try. So, I came in here and you said, yeah, you had a class starting and, and I didn't need to know anything. So, I came and I love it. I painted a picture once years ago. A girlfriend taught me something, but it was just... It was so long ago I didn't remember how to do it or even what I made it painted it with, you know, whether I liked watercoloring or oils or... And you said we were going to do acrylic, so I thought, oh good, try it. So ladies, I picked this image today because it actually may look really complicated, but it's not. It, we've got a huge sky, which is three quarters of the painting, and then we've got the beautiful landscape underneath. We are mainly going to do oranges. Uh, with the yellow right at the horizon line, and then blues, just a little shock of blue up at the top, violets, and then at the bottom it does look orange. We're not going to do orange, we're going to do it a yellow ochre, so more of a golden color. It is a winter, kind of springy winter scene, so um, not so much green. It's going to be predominantly orange. Now, um, th sketching this one out is, is actually pretty easy really compared to um, you know sketching out some of the flowers it's almost like waves of land really I'm gonna pop some white in right away as well and just to kind of get that feel and then we'll uh, we'll probably purple it up a bit later on we don't need to get super worried about getting the shapes exactly right it's not important it's just a it's a sweeping line um, the main thing is to not divide your canvas in half to have that land on that one-third bottom section when you divide your canvas in half and you've got half of it sky and half of it land it almost creates two paintings so that's why we always I always say three is a magic number in painting because if you divide your canvas into three parts, so two-thirds sky, one part land, it's going to work out fine. Let's just hit the, the colors 
onto the sky once we've got our, our basic landscape sketched out. And we'll do a nice free form with this. Cyan blue and white, that's gonna be basically the top part of the sky. We're gonna block that in. our fabulous red orange right on top of that and that is uh, they are complementary colors those two that red orange and the cyan blue sky so what's going to happen when you get two complementary colors together it makes fantastic vibration in the painting That looks really good. I love that. I really enjoyed creating the sky in this painting and I loved layering all the colors. I'm going with all the wild colors that I don't, I'm a pastel type of person, right? And going with all the wild colors and, and loving the picture when I'm finished. Yeah, you get different shades all the time, but like you said, it doesn't really matter. Like we've all got different paintings and yeah, so it's, it's really quite neat to learn that. I'm gonna buy a color wheel. I didn't find it really easy to start with because I didn't even know how to get a color, you know, how to mix, how to get orange or how to get the greens and stuff, but uh, um, it's, it's way easier the fourth class than it was the first class, right? One of, one of the problems I had with the painting was glazing yes. over the white snow. The oh, whole glazing technique yeah. was scary to me because I was putting uh, black over top of white snow and um, the result was amazing, but the process scared me. <laughs> Trees, it's just getting the, the feel of it. Um, so I'll probably go over my trees at home and add a few more, but yeah, I find that the, the hardest, but I think my last trees turned out fine. After I added some, they look great, so. Just walking faster. The snow and the trees. I think are the most challenging, making it look like they're trees. I enjoy relaxing and creating something that I can take home and show my family and they ooh and all over even if it's terrible. <laughs> it's sort of like just watery. Right in if you want. 
Well, my experience has been very good because I didn't think I could paint at all. And with each picture, I've seen a progression. I actually like my picture that I did last week the best. And um, yeah, it's kind of, I've got some good comments and I'm gonna hang them up in the house somewhere, so. I've got positive feedback. Oh, I didn't know you could do this. This is great. And I'm like, yeah, well, I'm surprised. I said, I'm just following along following my teacher and doing what I can do and actually from far back they look not too bad. It's been a lot of fun and I'm gonna, I have a canvas at home and I'm gonna paint this weekend with my granddaughter and it's been a really great experience and um, the more you paint the more you realize you have to learn. I think our paintings are amazing in the end. I think um, we, the process of um, learning how to glaze was important and I think it um, helped with the final product. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna continue. I definitely will continue painting. A picture that I'm really, really proud of. I want to paint Mount Paul.